and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Juliette Goodrich, filling in for Michelle Griego. Today, we'll talk about an international film fest, a center empowering Latino communities, and a bold new play at Berkeley Rep. But first, how Operation Care and Comfort supports soldiers from the Bay Area. And Frank Keffer joins me now from OCC, Operation Care and Comfort, and thank you so much. Thanks for having me. We were just chatting about some of the background. This was actually founded in 2003, just the idea of putting together care packages uh, out of a garage, and it's really expanded since then. Tell me about the operation. So in 2003, it was founded um, by Julie Di Maria and two others. Uh, started shipping care packages out of her garage in uh, Willow Glen in San Jose. Um, I was one of the original care package recipients back in 2003, uh, 2004 when I was in Iraq. And uh, that's how I became involved. Um, after returning home, I, I knew how important it was to me. And so I had to do everything um, I could to help support it and keep it going. Wow, so here we are now, years later, just operating out of a garage. Tell me how big the operation is now. So uh, from the garage, we got so big, we had a partner with the Red Cross, and we were the largest independent group associated with the Red Cross um, on the military side. And then in 2010, we became our own uh, 501c3, and um, we're just bursting out the seams. And what sort of things are sent uh, in these care packages? Usually it's um, just some stuff we take uh, um, advantage of here. Uh, care, you know, it's the cup of noodles or beef jerky, um, the grated cheese from round table pizza. The things we take for granted yes. when you're home. And so when you received one overseas, what does that mean to you? Obviously the emotional co connection of someone caring, right? Tell me about that. Very much. Um, you know, it's, um, it's like Christmas. Um, it's something to get you through the day to look forward to the mail call. Um, it gives you the motivation. Um, even I, I've been out of the Army for 10 years, and, and still one of the first things I do when I go home is check the mail because that's how instilled it is in me hmm. um, receiving something. So you hope it's a care package, not a bill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Correct? Yeah. So tell me about um, some of the other things that are put in the care packages and how do you connect with a soldier? So how is it linked to someone overseas? Do you find someone that's in need or how does that work? How do you connect a package to a name? A lot of it is uh, word of mouth. Um, prior, um, you know, people have received them. Um, we'll get them again because they're going multiple tours. Um, Families just happen to find us um, on the internet. We're, we're listed with the Department of Defense. Um, and so there's a, a bunch of different ways we're found. And um, we ship, unlike a lot of other groups that ship care packages, we do it every single month. So if your son or daughter or husband was deployed, um, we'd ship them every single month that they were there, not just that one time of year, what it might be. So how many shipments are we talking about? Well, to date, we've shipped over um, probably 1.2 million pounds, and it's all through uh, donation, all through fundraising. It all goes to the United States um, Post Office. Uh, and I know that Operation Care and Comfort has three different facets, care packages, yes. tickets for troops, and then also adopt a military family. So first talk about tickets for troops, and then we'll talk about adopting a military family. So with tickets for troops, we provide um, military veterans and their families free tickets, no shipping, handling charges, totally free tickets mm -hmm. to sporting events, Disney on Ice, uh, monster truck shows, concerts. Um, usually the San Francisco Giants give us several thousand tickets during the year so we could send troops to the games. Um, we're the official charity with the Sharks. We're as a season ticket holder. Um, you could donate your ticket to us and then we, we send it out to the troops. Um, and matter of fact, next Saturday, the 18th, we're doing a military appreciation game with the San Jose Giants and bringing out um, a bunch of troops there. Wonderful. So We have our Giants colors on. Exactly. We're good yes. to go. Start of the season. <laughs> and let's talk about adopt a family as well, because not only do these care packages mean so much to the soldiers overseas, there's families here that need that connection. So you're also taking care of them, right? Yes. A lot of times, surprisingly, um, the guys deployed say, you know what, we're fine here. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Please take care of, um, you know, my family members at home. And um, that's kind of forgotten is the, the family members that are here. Um, you know, everything goes on and, and, and life goes on where that mm -hmm. person over there is, is gone. And so um, in the military, 
uh, unfortunately, there's kind of a stubbornness and a, and a pride where they're the last one to say, hey, we need help or we could use some assistance. And, and we're kind of taught, hey, you just tighten up your bootstraps and go on, you do without. Right. And so um, they are some of the neediest. Uh, you know, they're uh, an average soldier in the military after spending four years in, um, they're not quite a supervisor or sergeant yet, but they have all that training, all that experience. Um, they're only making about 27,000 a year. Mm. Whereas the national poverty level for a family of four is uh, about 23, 24,000. Right. So they're barely making above the poverty level. And so um, that's where we come in, able to help them and still give them that um, sense of pride um, where they, you know, it doesn't make them feel like they're um, having to ask for a handout. Well, Frank Keffer with Operation Care and Comfort. It's definitely grown, and we thank you for all of your time. We're going to have some information to our viewers on how we can help and volunteer as well. Right. And um, we thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. So if you'd like more information on Operation Care and Comfort, log on to OCCUSA.org. That's OCCUSA.org, and we'll have more information for you. Coming up, a Bay Area Film Fest featuring movies from around the world.